Sometimes you get an auto save and I don't notice it. Hello. Well, hello, and welcome to hello. the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, hmm. oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Who are the iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about raptodons or marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with right, them as they're they are hurdles, not problems. You're welcome to stay with attitude, us, so long as you can earn your keep. Uh, I'm just looking for work. Do you have a boss or a leader or something? Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And... I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Hmm. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Maybe. Tell me about Zora. She, well... She's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. It's a sawbones. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Hmm. <laughs> nice. And where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triangle oh, clinic. Oh, Sawbones, Triangle door. Clinic. Yeah, she did Sawbones is a doctor. Why are you here, not in Stella Bay? Yeah. Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around pamphlets? back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Thank you. Now, one of the things I did in Groundwater, and I liked it, but I didn't do it... And I did it in Roseway, but I didn't do it here. Is that I went when I got to a new town, I went to all the buildings like clockwise, so I knew I'd been in there and spoken to everyone. I started following quests in the in the in the building, uh, the first uh, city up the road, and I realized halfway through, I'm like, oh man, I might have missed something, might have not spoken to someone. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to you know, make sure I go around and speak to everyone. Can I get in this building? No, can I just speak to you here? This armor itches something awful. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Oh, hey, Bronson. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Huh. And Pants, you run a store here? Oh, anything I can do to help you? No, I It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster, and a chef, and a handyman, and whatever else we need. Nice. We gotta eat. Eating means hunting, and hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. <laughs> so Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. That's fair enough. Anything you need help with? Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. Yeah. The pipe's up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut him off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse, outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. Simple enough. I'll let you know when they're done. I ought to back my frames. Most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. 
We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. They ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. <laughs> Where's the terminal? Up the hill. It's right on the cliff's edge. Oh, thanks for the tip. I did that one. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Nuh uh. Taro's got that sweet love. Uh, trash cube. Ugh. My yeah. Look at him. He just keeps making them. You're fucking weird, Carl. I don't think he can hear you. He's in the zone. Trash. You're stealing. Hey, Tucker. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. That's the little boy. What do I call you, missing? stranger? I said he'd be a grown man. It's Captain Hawthorne. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? <clears throat> Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stella Bay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Uh, she seemed, made it seem like you're in danger and asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. That's fair. Although, running away is for cowards, and you need to face her and show her you've grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different yeah, this time? nothing. Hmm. I mean, it's pick one or pick one. Let's give a... a she will never take that one. Well, yeah, if he believes in our kind of class, why not convert her? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Good job, Tucker. Okay, we'll turn to Agnes at some point. Need 55 engineering to do that. Oh man, okay. So it's 55 engineering or science. <clears throat> the door to the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck, completely sealed. Can someone get this thing open? Engage remote force door lever operation. Oh, that, well, at least we got that one done. We're never gonna get 55 science or engineering, are we? Well, engineering one maybe, come close. We're on 30, and I have a plus 15. Um, <clears throat> uh, the goggles. That's 45, so I'd have to take points in it. Hope Zora sends me on next. Move along. Hello. Wait. Hey. Get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air. Never seen you before. I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole. Oh, and Monarch's the Terra one. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. What's your story? Pretty simple, kid. 
I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. <clears throat> I never heard someone saying you're the best to ask about real monarch. Whoever said that must have been lying. Or maybe they was drunk. I don't know nothing a dozen better folk can tell you. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. <laughs> uh. A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. Okay. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Oh, really? Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Why do everyone thinks everyone gets themselves eight? I mean, I guess there's raptors outside, so why not? Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time mm -hmm. this twice fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. You want mementos? Photographs? Thereabouts. Fair enough. What if they're still alive? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. Hmm. I just want some closure. All right, one lockbox coming up. Appreciate it, kid. I'll mark an outpost on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Nice. I like it when I get the keys up front. Hmm? Makes things easier. Bronson's key. That's oh, Huxley. Hey. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Yeah. <laughs> you holding up. <laughs> Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, your ankle. it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. <laughs> Without the kicking, I assume. Huh? Why? Your leg. Oh, ha. You're funny. How'd you hurt it? Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up black good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Uh, how long? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Oh, sorry to hear that. Best of luck. Next building. It ain't right. How many good folk are we going to lose to our missions? A Manta Queen? Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company.
A stranger comes to our home. Hmm. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclast. He seems friendly. What do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Mm -hmm. Now, why have you come? Doing quests for XP. Uh, looking for ways to help people here. Anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Mm -hmm. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Why not both? Printing press on Monarch. Oh, yes. Oh, Many facilities lie pamphlets. abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Mm. Will you aid us in our cause? Yep. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Yep. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Oh, where's the supply? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Okay. Which is the way we came in. Huxley, the runner from Northern Ruins. I helped her get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. Yep. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so tone deaf. <laughs> be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. <laughs> yeah. Nice day, huh? Hmm. The monarch, anyway. Yeah, well. I wonder if I can speak to her when she gets into triage. I need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. I hope so. There's the spleen. Getting good at this. There we go. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides. We just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Not like these orangey eyes. You're on the triage clinic here? Eh? Yeah. Name's Zora. I've been patching up the iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If I can. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're Sawbones. I was a long time ago. Over in Cascadia. Rizzo was trying to sweeten up animal parts, and often that meant a lab coat got bit. Now I'm whatever I need to be to keep these folks from bleeding out. Hmm. It does seem wasteful to buy press parts rather than food. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts, and folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. 
you always talk to your leader like that? When he's being an idiot, sure. Nice. The Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere. And I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Yeah. Need any help? You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Okay. We've got a couple more buildings and then we'll start picking off anything we can do inside town before we head out of town. This is Huxley's terminal, stay out. This means you. Okay, dear diary. Zora's really smart. Something about Zora's promotion. Uh, someone broke the thing, and I don't have engineering 55 to repair the storage. If I did, I could probably fix that for her. Spacer's choice. It ain't the right choice, it's Spacer's choice. Bunch of garbage. Oh, that's everyone. That's what's the odd job here? Vent the steam. Steam pipes are about to burst atop the house. Turn the pressure regulator on to safely vent them. So you can do that remotely if you have enough engineering or science. If you don't, it's like you gotta find another way up. That, um, I think the, I think it was only collectibles on that perk from, could be any, oh, it's interactables. Ah! <laughs> Interesting. Stop that. Am I stuck? So, why was I able to jump up here before and now I can't? Maybe I wasn't supposed to be able to jump up here before, but I was just able to. Yeah, that uh, that five meter interactable perk would have been a good one.
Okay. God House Communications. I'll have to go outside for that. Bang. Hopefully we can knock that one off. And just... Uh, let's actually have a caffeine drink. Gives me a bit of sleep and stuff. I also want some food. Alright. <clears throat> Looking for a save as well. I huh, wonder if they have a spot where I can get my um my ship teleport over here. Oh, that's the odd jobs one. Huh. Oh, that's right. They did say the guardhouse was north of here. But we don't have to worry about enemies because we cleared out. So there is one section not cleared out with a couple of marauders much further around though like around there which means there could be some we walked across here so there could be something there but there could also be something here I'm not too fast They weren't there before. Two ferals, two mongrels, and an alpha. the alpha gone. That's my injury. Maybe like a slashing? Hey, french fries. Did someone give you a sub? Maybe. Um, check in your notifications. It'll tell you who it was and when it was. I wonder if the alpha just ran off. We definitely didn't kill an alpha. I can't remember french fries, so I 
I said you'll have to check. There'll be a little. There'll be a notification um, thing or messages from Twitch, and it'll uh, like a bell. I think it is, and it'll tell you like um, who it was and when they did it. Very likely, um, <clears throat> someone just uh, in a random sub, and Twitch picked you. Turn to Bronson there. What's my ailment? It says yesterday from Severo. Hmm. I think Severo gave out a random one. I don't know. I don't think he targeted. It did a targeted one. Unless you were chatting, but then you would have seen it. it might have just been a random one. People do that. They're really generous. Okay, so where's this alpha dog? He just did a runner than the alpha dog, I think. What's our plan? Go back to there, or... We're already here. We could have a look down that way, but I'm a little concerned. What if I have one of those drinks that removes ailment? No. Gone the wrong way. Once I don't get ambushed up here. Might have to sleep to get the fracture off, maybe. Which is okay, because I kind of want to go back to um, the ship so I can save. But there's this thing's just here, and I'd love to be able to just get it. But I often get worried, because quite often some of these ones can get you killed. And I've done a fair bit, so... Can't see anyone around. Okay, he's friendly. For now, at least. Oh, it's like a little area. Okay, good. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Ah, I, I need to get inside. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why's that now? Ah, uh, you're here for Carlotta. I get it. I'll offer, you get paid. We'll go home with a win. Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. Seems like some sort of derelict town. It's in here first, and then we'll go see Carlotta. Free stuff. Do, 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 do. Free stuff. Do, 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 do. Free stuff. Because that's what we need more ammo.
Recommendation, open gas vents. Okay. Well. It's got a music box. Interesting. What have you been up to, french fries? Hope this big door opens, otherwise I can't get in. That's sealed. Let me in. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? <laughs> Do you have a moment to talk our salvation through the order of scientific inquiry? <laughs> Relax, the sublight squad is gone. Pans. Graham sent me to collect supplies. Awesome. Finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Thank you. Like I said, this is my last run. Optional, get high capacity cartridges or extra supplies. Okay, why did Sanjar ban you? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. All right, I'll ask him. Why have you been helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Hmm. Okay. Well, where will I get the supplies now, though? Law help them. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Well, I've got to choose. Uh, let's get some food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Don't plan on it. Yeah, man, just have a gram. He seems okay, but like food and medicine, right? Food and medicine. Oh, hey, um, there's a, like, a manhole out the back of town. Does that pop up somewhere down here? Or over here? Or out here? I think I f Let's fast travel from here. That way I can fix up my foot. You cannot fast travel while encumbered. Jerks. Why am I encumbered? Long guns plus seven.
Yeah, I can't sell it, the thing. But I can get rid of that since I just picked up a much better one. No, I was just wondering where it went. Because I saw it when I was still getting, like, speaking to people in town. So I didn't want to take it then. And then I remembered it later. I'm like, oh, I wonder where that one went. Because in one of the dialogues, they talked talk to me about a... Um, um, she's like, oh, it's, there's a path that goes somewhere if you don't mind spelunking. Or you can go this way, but there's stuff that'll kill you. I didn't even think about that. I just went went straight to the road. Oh, I'm sure it's always there. It's a big manhole in the, um... Like, at the back of town. Like, it's, like, here, I think. But I didn't know where it went. So the entrance to the bunker? What? Yeah, what bunker? Maybe I haven't been to the bunker yet. I should probably sort out the handiwork one. I'll hit family matters while we're here. Hey, raptor meat is eight kilos. Yeah, they're a kilo each. Tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to the Amber Heights. Stations? Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, his son's a grown man. It's time you started treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Tuck Tuck. Alright, good luck, guys. Yes. Alright, what do we want to put him in? Uh, <clears throat> we can get our lie or intimidate up, maybe. Long guns is where I want to be. We start going like tech, maybe. That's not bad. Get weapons and stuff. 
they're already sitting pretty high. Yeah, let's start pushing tech. Well, yes, let's start pushing tech. Oh, hack and lockpick though. Uh, I mean, that could be a. Attack unaware enemies while crouched to deal bonus damage. I think that's great for the sniping side of it. Yeah. Plus getting the hack and lock pick up will help too at some points. Man, I think either could work. Like just being able to meet some of those checks to... I mean, what are we going to get? More supplies? Like I need more stuff. But I think getting this one, if we get to 20 on sneak. Um, so dealing bonus damage when crouched. Quite a lot of times that's been the difference between... That, that extra damage would probably be a, a, a one-shot kill versus not. I have to make a decision with this one as well. Um, let's go speak to Dude. I don't think I need to speak to him about so-and-so, but... Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, I thought I would have had a thing from that last quest. All right, where's Velma? Okay, so Henrik's upstairs there. Oh, that's the stash. That's Caleb. Almost that way. It's so different when you can run compared to having to sort of stumble along. Yeah, the manhole's here. Oh. Mm, where was it? I'm sure it was out here. No, it was out on an area that looked like this one then. Must be like um, here or something then, I guess. I could have sworn it was out the back. Unless it's there? I don't know. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Uh, wait, you said Braxton? Did we find Braxton? Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've yeah, noticed... Yeah, we've heard say this before. All right, why didn't you turn him in? We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, she told us the that. spacer's choice or some... Right. No. Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Okay, you've already lost Braxton. Can you afford to lose Caleb's entire team? I don't even want to think about that. Or how far behind Braxton's loss alone is going to put us. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Alright. So it turns out all we had to do is solve the Braxton problem. And the Braxton problem was a problem. <laughs> the cannibal family. That's Caleb. Nope. 
Excuse me. Good news, buddy. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Yep. Got an update for us? We can't afford to sit this out for too much longer. Know what I mean? I know what you mean. I convinced Felma to see reason. She'll increase your pay. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. As agreed, here's your compensation. Ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Yep. And she was about ready to blow a fuse too, man. Now, where's that? Oh wait, there's a broker in here? Oh, that's there. Okay, cheeky save, and then um, we're out again. We gotta head out of town. So Amber Heights, we'll pop into Amber Heights on the way back. That's good, nothing, nothing inside. So again, we just run back to thing. I'm trying to hit, it's like trying to tell me, it's like, I know I can't fast travel there. I don't want to, I want to hit that quest marker. Bit of luck, we'll hope we won't have respawn raptors. Okay then. Yeah, you can do it manually from your journal if you know what quest it is. I don't know what quest it is.
Well. <laughs> I hadn't cleared that one out. I was about to go running straight into it. Uh, this is at the base just around the corner here. But I just like having the quest markers up. That's too even. Here you go, mate. Got your jobs done. What are you buying? No. Uh, fix all your stuff. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Awesome. Before you ask, no. It ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. That's cool, man. I just want the experience, though. More experience? Yeah, there we go. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. I got the, uh, I got your rollers. The rest of the account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Uh, I know what you did to piss him off, but Sanjar isn't selling to anymore. The board must have gotten a hold of him at last. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Uh, time to fix the printing press, then? The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Oys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Well, he could have sent them after backing up Zora, right? Yes. You're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind no, to yeah, our actual Preaching does problems. bring in more people, though. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. Graham, you're an idiot. Just want you to know this. You're an idiot. Ah, hello. You're still alive. I have questions for you. All right. I've heard people mention an Amber Heights massacre. What happened? I'm sorry. As long as it's been, oh, I'd man. still rather not speak of it. That was a painful day for us all. Why did your family here? All people are part of the Philosophist family. I've come to accept that. 
along with the additional weight of their deaths. Hmm. Right. Tell me about the Iconoclasts. The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. Hmm. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Is this why the board is cordoned off Monarch? Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. Okay, what's your story? Before all this, <clears throat> I was a writer for MSI's product catalog. It was my purpose to spread awareness of Saltuna in its various forms. The certainty with which I spun That's among the other cogs in their machines stifled creativity and personal growth. Yeah, I can relate. Fly my own course may be dangerous, but at least it's freedom. On that we agree. Hmm. Tell me about your teachings. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I think it's one of those big things like anyone who thinks something very dreamy or oh, this would be better if the world did this or this would be better if the world did this. It's like as soon as you start doing that, then you, uh, you want to be able to make sure that happens. So to control it, you need to start putting in rules that go against all that dreamy stuff you had in the first place. Until eventually you're just a different type of person that someone like you years before will be. I don't want to follow that person. I want my own thing. Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms, divinity is in us all. And the eternal is that divinity. Hmm, even OSI? Are their members similarly divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. What do you mean by an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI just like the overlords before him. Hmm. So Sanjar betrayed you, you turned religion, and now here we are. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Another is that misfortune often brings opportunity. I found my path through the tragedies of my past. Do you believe in a creator? Not in the sense of a single entity. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time. Organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. All right, but what started it all? Questions like these are distractions. Yep. It doesn't matter whether an entity sparked the universe or not. Only by pursuing the eternal truth will we find these and other answers. <clears throat> yeah, I can get behind that. All right. It doesn't matter. What Why happened. have you come? How are we going now? Good talk. I 
Oh, so while we were talking to him, light time was paused out here. That's interesting. Okay. Do I have a caffeine drink? That poster, the big guy there was these guys, and the little guy was everyone else. Um, that really makes them look like huge guys. Like, I'd be scared of that enemy. Pay for the printer. Okay, so we'd have to... I'm going to do these ones, I think. Are there weapons from the void there? Oh. Yeah, the dissident primals. It's kind of funny. Well, was my hunting rifle <laughs> pretty but pretty low? I, I've found like four hunting rifles, and they've all been exactly the same. I've been checking like every vendor. I haven't been checking. I should need to check vending machines more because I know some of them have weapons. I've been checking every vendor along the way. Okay, the Manta Swarm. Manta Swarm? I don't even know what you use to kill those, because bullets don't do anything to them, do they? I need the 50 cal scoped sniper rifle. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so here's the limit for them. I 
man, they got dogs over here. Maybe I did take out an alpha before. button. Okay, so before when there was an alpha and I thought it ran off, it turns out I did kill it. They're just not as big as they like to think they are. So that's there. No, that's not going to get us around it. Best option is just straight through. And I've got to turn. I think if I can take out the the guns. The canids themselves aren't going to be an issue. The bigger problem is their range, guys. No, it's not. Thank you. <laughs> that stupid smile. I've had one before stop and turn right almost right in front of me and I've just the shotguns just like one pumped it and then I haven't had to chase it back to town I don't understand the having this sort of evade system in games but if it's gonna be there Who am I to not utilize it? Fudge. Okay, not so bad. Uh, 
Those are not the droids you're looking for. No. So those guys with the acid guns. <clears throat> they hurt the most. Acid guns are bad and kind. The other option is going that way. That way wasn't too bad. What's up this way? Yes, Q is my panic button. If I have TTD. Do I have a normal assault rifle? No. My dude's a sniper. <clears throat> he carries a shotgun for when things get up close and personal. I, I, put, I like to put a little bit of RP in my RPGs. I don't just metagame every game I play. Raptors, dogs, combat. Where's the spitters? I'd like to take the spitters out with this range and shotgun the other dude. Oh, two maulers though, not terrible. There's the spitter. I'm assuming the assault rifles count as long guns. That feels like putting too much um, into one perk, right? Yeah, long guns feels like a very strong skill to have. feel myself I uh, started sliding down the terrain I go the other way just to see what uh, see what the, the the option is If 
like the Mantisaur drone and like a Mantipilla. There's also a thing there. No, I'm good, French fries. This doesn't look good at all. Oh wait, that's your limit, is it? That's a lot of enemies. Alright. Back to the original plan. Spitters this time. Did they dead? Oh, come on. Come on. I like how there's a little bit of variety each time. Sometimes on the spawn. Okay, except this time I've got those instead of the other things. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, there's the ferals. Okay, so the mantipil is for that way. I think maybe I can avoid those, that crew down there. Also, I think I'm just going to take out the howler if I can. I can't get a good spot one of you is missing health which one is it I guess when they're evading, you just can't do anything to them. That's okay. Yeah, you 
は I got that. I got slashed. Yeah, I'm crippled. I'm not encumbered though, so... We just have to engage with the survival mechanics. Question mark? That's what I'm wearing. Most random enemies respawn 1.5 to 2 days in game time. Yeah, so as long as you go back out the same way you came, um, every time you have to sleep for 6 hours, you're usually fine, right? It's when you start, I think it's when you start sort of doing quests, you know, I'll do one from the left, one from the right path, then one from the left, one from the right path, you can end up with respawns. And that's the only time-sensitive pressure that makes you sort of gamble on whether you should go back and sleep or not. But it's not really a gamble. It's like a no-brainer. Um, you go back and you're in a situation um, where you just go back and, you know, refresh in all of your um, health meters and save. But it does definitely feels like it it trivializes the um, the survival meters. <clears throat> I actually think. Um, hey, remember how we were just talking about um, respawns? I'm just gonna run past them. Vulcan, my dude, thanks for the raid. How you doing, man? Maybe that's the other way to play this, just ignore all the respawns. I'm getting them, and then just, I just run along the road. The, the new way to cope with added difficulty in games. Just run past everything. Hey, man. Yeah, it's good. Enjoying it. First playthrough. Um, I haven't got to the DLC stuff yet. But I've just discovered how I think I'm going to um, approach enemies in the future. And that's just by ignoring them. It unfortunately, seems like a legitimate strategy. This saddens me. That shows to me, like, that shows a... I mean, I'm liking the story, and I'm liking the other stuff, and you won't be able to do it to a lot of enemies inside buildings. Well, I wouldn't be able to do it to a lot of enemies inside buildings. Um, I 
I wonder if this is gonna give me a save file. If it saddens me, then don't do it. Yeah, but I don't like the... Um, <clears throat> the forced, you must go back to your ship to save. Or you go back to wherever we allocated you an autosave before. And so now I have to run all the way through. And I could grind through the stuff I've already killed that I used to clear out to here. Except they respawned. Which is dumb because there's limit... I, for the wildlife, kind of maybe get it. But for um, like the outlaws, there's there's limited people on this planet. Like in the, in these colonies. Like really limited. Um, so it just kind of feels silly. So I think I'll, st like, I'll still, you know, when I'm clearing out to a new area, maybe, but I don't know. I don't want to go that way. Thanks, fellas. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not recruiting, and I'm taking the. I took the perk point for um, plus ten to all skills. If you don't have, if you've never recruited anyone. That was a run. <laughs> 